Welcome to another tips and tricks video. This video demonstrates how you can reuse some of the existing Fluent setup from previous Fluent cases rather than starting the setup from scratch. If you'd like to reuse all the Fluent setup from your previous case, I have already explained three different methods in one of the tips and tricks videos. I will put the link in the description. In that video, I explained how you can simply read the new mesh in an existing Fluent case to use all the Fluent setup that has been assigned in the case, or use the journal file to save the setup, or use text user interface to write an existing Fluent setup and read it in the new Fluent case. In this tips and tricks video, I will show how by using copy to clipboard, you can reuse some of the setup from an old Fluent case in the new case. Now let's go to Fluent. I have two Fluent uh, cases open. The first one, um, I have some setup in it that I wanted to have it in this um, new case to the left. So, for example, in the name expression, I have three items and uh, that I want it to be in the new case that you can see there is no items in the name uh, expressions. Simply, you can uh, just use uh, the um, right click on the name expression on the outline view and then choose copy to clipboard and go to your new case which is to the left and then uh, click uh, right click on the name expression and then choose paste as you can see all of them uh, coming to the um, uh, new case however one of them is invalid let's uh, look at the invalid option and see what is the difference and why uh, here it's invalid so if i go to the previous case and the name of the um, zone I use for the um, uh, for this uh, expression name tabular transient solid however if I go to uh, the new case I can see that I don't have any name of that one and the name of the fluid that I'm using is solid so let's just only you can just delete that part and go to location cell zone and choose that one and uh, you can easily fix that one that uh, we don't have the name of the cell zone in it also you can uh, make uh, the expression valid again now let's see where we can use copy to clipboard uh, you can use copy to clipboard in boundary conditions name expressions that i just uh, show you report definitions, file and plots, and post-processing like mesh, contours, and um, vectors, and so on. And now let's uh, go check the boundary condition. So boundary condition in this one, I have uh, uh, velocity inlet, and the velocity inlet that assigned is as um, zero. Uh, and in the old case, I have the uh, using a um, UDF as uh, veloc well velocity. I want this one, um, this uh, well velocity to be in the new case. Uh, again, simply I can just um, copy to clipboard. This time I just uh, click on the inlet instead of going to boundary condition because I don't want um, the outlet uh, or other setup to be in the new case. I just only want the inlet so I come to inlet copy to clipboard and then come again uh, in the new case paste and we can see that even in the console it said that it changed to uh, velocity and we can also check it here and see that now velocity magnitude is set to be well velocity uh, you can do the same thing for the uh, report definition um, you can, if you click on the report definition and copy to clipboard, it automatically copy all of these items to your uh, new case. 
But if you, for example, want just the P2, you can just copy to clipboard P2, come to the new case and paste it. And you can see you only have uh, one item here. But if you copy uh, the whole um, report definition and come to the new case and paste it, you can see all of the new uh, items come to the um, uh, new case. This time I want to have this uh, mesh graphic in my uh, new case. So just uh, kill, right click on it, copy to clipboard and easily paste it here. Now I have this mesh graphic in the new uh, case. In this video I showed how you can uh, use uh, copy to clipboard to reuse some of the setup from uh, an old fluent case. Thanks for watching.